All right. A new feature for software asset management made available in the Tokyo release is unlimited software licenses. A user with the SAM admin or a SAM user role can specify an unlimited license by simply selecting a checkbox on the software entitlement form. This is different than it was previously. This option never existed. And this essentially allows you to create unlimited allocations with unlimited rights on software entitlements, enabling you to basically license software installations without any sort of a true up cost. And by marking the entitlement as an unlimited license, allocations will always show up as compliant. So let's dive in and I will show you this new functionality. So we're gonna start off by just navigating to software entitlements. So you would type in software entitlement, or as you can see, I typed in entitlement here. Let's go ahead and just click on it. That'll take us to the software entitlements table. And you can select this option on either a new record or one that currently exists. So I will show you both. So I'll open this in a new tab so you can see it. This is one that I created specifically for the demo purpose. And here is the checkbox right here. So unlimited license, right? And when I check it like that, you'll see that a couple of different fields disappear. So those that disappear are the purchase rights, active rights, and allocations available. That's because you'll be unlimited. And honestly, it just treats it like you have unlimited rights as kind of the name implies. So one thing that you'll notice is the unit cost is equal to the total cost. So if I change this number, you'll see that that number is reflected right there. So this was a problem. I had a lot of customers that constantly were asking for this kind of thing. So ServiceNow listened. And it's important to know when this actually shows up, right? So it's not any combination of license type and license metric. It's only specific types. So for instance, the license types of perpetual maintenance and software assurance. So maintenance here, if I was to show that, perpetual, which I had selected or perpetual plus maintenance and or perpetual and software assurance, which isn't showing up in this list, but that's on the ServiceNow documentation. And if we click on subscription as well. So it's actually the two different fields. So it's the license type and the license metric, the combination. And when you click here and you look, there's several different options where this will show up. So keep in mind the options I had there, perpetual maintenance, essentially and subscription. And then on the secondary here, the license metric, what you're looking for is per user, per device, per named user per named device or user subscription. All right, so if I change to one of these like per core where this doesn't apply, you'll see that there's actually a UI policy that hides that. So you have to make sure that you're on the right one. So I select per device and unlimited license shows up there. This is also available. Um, the screen is very similar to when you create a net new software entitlement. So I'll just show you that really quick as well. Go into the software entitlement table, clicking new. And again, I don't even have to fill in most of this information for you to be able to see it, but it's already on perpetual. So as long as I select one of these like per device, you'll see that it shows up right there. This can also be done on an import as well. Just like any data manipulation, when you import it, you can set this value to true and it will go ahead and create that. As a note, in the software asset management workspace, when you go through the playbook, this option doesn't appear to be there yet. So I imagine that's something they'll add in the future. However, as of right now, it's not there. So when you walk through that process, just be aware that you may not see that. All right, so you're probably wondering at this point, how does this affect reconciliation? Really real numbers here when you're looking at stuff. For this example, I went ahead and I just selected, well, I'm going to change this back to what it was per user. And I created a few allocations here just so you could see. So there's just these four. These are all example users here. And you can see just the general expense lines were created. The amount 10,000, because that's how much the license was for, automatically generated. So let's go to the license workspace. Type in software asset workspace, and you'll see this pop up. Yes, I'll leave that. All right, wait for this to load. Okay, and we're just going to run reconciliation to see what this looks like. So the publisher was Cyberlink. I'll go ahead and I'll run reconciliation. There you can see that this is in progress. I'll go ahead and click this, probably done by now. And we'll just keep on navigating down 
to the version that we had. All right, so here you can see product results. Once it loads, you'll be able to see it. Entitlements and remediation options, as you would expect. All right, so it's important to note a couple of things about reconciliation. So it actually takes unlimited licenses into account. And you can actually see this here now that it loads under the license metric result. So look at this, license owned, four, license required, four, license available, this shows zero showing up in green right here. And this number will just continuously increment up, right? So if I had 10, it would be 10 licenses required, 10 licenses owned. It would show zero as available because again, there's no true up cost. You are compliant. It's unlimited by nature. So this is a pretty neat feature. One other note, right? These, are, these license metric results are generated separately for these unlimited licenses. So if there were other licenses as well, you would actually see this license metric result showing up on its own line here. And a couple of just notes about unlimited licenses themselves. So downgrade rights are supported for unlimited licenses, if you can figure that. And an unlimited license uh, perpetual entitlement can only be associated to one unlimited license maintenance entitlement. And that's pretty much it. I mean, that's what you need to know. So. Thank you for tuning in and we'll chat with you next time.